Hi, I'm Andrew from the Sydney String Centre, and today I'm going to be answering some commonly asked questions about rosin. So what is rosin? Rosin is something that string players apply to the horsehair of their bow so that the bow grips the string. The constant grip between the string and the bow makes the string vibrate. This vibration is amplified by the body of the violin to create sound. Rosin comes as a solid block or cake, but when applied to the bow, becomes a fine white powder. What is rosin made from? Rosin, also known as colophony, is made from the resin of pine and conifer trees. The sap of a tree is tapped, heated and purified and sometimes other ingredients are added, such as beeswax, turpentine or gold flakes. The cooking process and any added ingredients are factors that change the playing qualities and the colour of the final product. What is the difference between light and dark rosin? Generally, the qualities of rosin are measured by grip and tone colour. Darker rosins are softer and stickier than lighter rosins, which means they have more grip and produce a grittier, thicker tone. Lighter rosins are harder and more brittle than darker rosins, which means they have less grip and produce a smoother, clearer tone. Amber rosins offer a balance of both dark and light rosins. However, every rosin, light or dark, has its differences depending on the tree it comes from and the other ingredients the manufacturer has added. So which rosin should I buy? Choosing a rosin is a very personal decision and the best answer is to try as many as you can until you find the right one. For this video, we tested over 20 different rosins and these were our favourites. For beginners, we recommend Paganini for violin or viola players and Esperanto for cello players. As a beginner, you do not need anything too fancy. An inexpensive, good quality student rosin will be fine. For intermediate to advanced violin or viola players, we would recommend Bernadelle as a light rosin, Larsen or Gold Flex as an amber rosin, and as a dark rosin, Milan Duro or Olive Pirastro. For intermediate cellists, we recommend Bernadelle as a light rosin, Larsen or Cellisto as an amber rosin, and Melos Duck if you prefer something that offers more grip. For professional players, we recommend Larica 1 or 2 for violinists, Larica 3 for violists, and Larica 3 or 4 for cellists. This brand of rosin uses the same traditional recipe as the Liebenzeller rosin, which is now discontinued. It offers excellent grip, volume, and doesn't sacrifice the tone colour. As this rosin is so refined, you only need to apply a little bit for the best possible result. If you are intending on changing rosins, it is best to start on fresh horse hair so that you aren't mixing the rosins together. So what if you have an allergy to rosin? If you find that your eyes and fingers are getting irritated during practice, you may be allergic to your rosin. There are a few hypoallergenic rosins available. We recommend the Gapel rosin. Thank you for watching our video on rosin. To view our full range of rosins, visit our website violins.com.au and for more videos, please subscribe to our channel.